this is Kev from Mindful Mods. Um, today I've received from a company called Music World in Brion a rather large box um, containing uh, a bright yellow Epiphone SL which I got from them through Amazon for 99 euros plus a little bit of postage and packaging. So it's going to be, I think it's probably one of the, if not the cheapest Epiphone on the market. So I'm kind of keen to find out what it sounds like out of the box um, uh, and what I'm going to need to do to upgrade it. I, I've already ordered some tuners because I know from various videos that the tuners are workable but they're not the best. So my plan is to definitely upgrade those but I'm going to do a tone test um, out of the box best as I can. Um, and a little unboxing, so let's go on with that then. So it comes nicely boxed, as you can see. Some of these things which I always cut, because apparently if they end up on the garbage tip, a lot of animals end up getting caught up in these things, so I always try and take them off, leave them open, but then like the recycling centre will actually recycle them. And there'll be another box inside here. That side's already open. Bunch of packing in there. And this is real nice make a nice camping bed out of that. An extra packaging that's been very safely packed, which is nice to see. Such a reasonably priced guitar. Okay, let's get that out. And that to me looks like an Epiphone guitar. All right, let's get into the little of box. Nicely sealed. I'm liking this company. It happens to be in the, I think it's Brillon area, in Germany. These guys have some great guitars on their site. Went and checked it out. I'll post a link um, so you can see that. Oh, there we go. It really is very yellow. Uh, Allen key and uh, so these Allen keys one is for the truss rod to adjust the tension in the neck I tend to leave that alone if I can and the other tinier Allen key is for adjusting the intonation and there's a little owner's manual and some elastic bands which I can flick at my dog later on I won't do that I don't really do that okay so let's open this with a nice kind of shroud <laughs> as well. I've already smashed it on the table. So there we go. Let's get a little bit closer and have a look. So it's really very, it's as simple as you get this guitar. It's very light, which I actually like because when you're playing live, you can play this one for hours and it's really nice. I mean, I think it's, the finish is really nice and smooth on it. Um, the fret ends not as bad as I've seen they could do with a bit of leveling off just to make it a bit more comfy the actions already really nice on it the finish is good and it has these um, two single coil pickup as pick pickups which are apparently designed specifically for this guitar and I've been told by people and I know they're very nice already and to try and uh, hold on to them so I will do that I will give them a fair crack of the whip but I do suffer from compulsive modding syndrome 
uh, which means I might end up changing them even though they might not need it, which is what I recently did on a bullet Stratocaster, which sounded lovely. So there we go. That's what classic Epiphone headstock, SL logo on the truss rod cover there. And it's just got those two pickups, a volume and a tone, and a three-way selector switch you've got for bridge, middle, which is both pickups, and neck. So there we go. I love it. I think it's great. See what it sounds like, I haven't tuned it. Oh, it's even in tune. Can you hear that? Ooh, nearly. Someone's tuned that before they, before they sent it to me. So there we go, that's impressive. The fact that it stayed in tune uh, in the post is pretty impressive with all that packing around it. So yeah, all right then. Well, I'm going to give it a little setup um, and then we'll see what it sounds like. Okay, so my first or 
first impressions, I suppose. Having had a chance to play the guitar for a day or two, do some tone testing, I put it through various setups. Um, I think my overall impression is it's a good guitar. Um, it's an amazing guitar for the money for a 99 euro guitar. I've never bought one that cheap new before um, and I was really surprised how well it played out of the box. It's got its own unique sound, quite a dirty sound, um, which I which I like. Um, I probably will change it for my, I'm looking for a slightly different sound myself, but it's got its own unique sound and it's a good sound. Um, it's got really quite good, well-matched pickups. Um, the neck is a standout for me, and uh, the neck sound, the pickup on the neck I'll probably keep. I really like the neck pickup sound. It's not the deepest sounding pickup, but it's really clear, and I really like the sound of it. I'll probably change the bridge for something with a little bit more clarity and pop. Um, so, what else? Um, the tuners I heard were, were bad, as you saw from the beginning of the video, I was expecting them to be bad. The, these ones behind me, they're, they're actually pretty good. Um, the guitar's been staying in tune okay. Um, they're not the most expensive tuners, covered tuners, um, but they seem to be good. Maybe I got lucky, but I would kind of half expect if you bought one you to have to replace those. Um, I do have some on the way, but I'm actually going to put them in another guitar now while I see how these tuners last. Um, it came set up, which is um, courtesy, I'm almost certain, for, of, of um, the music shop in Germany um, that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Um, I'll post another link now. Um, so they did, they already did some work on it and um, it's pretty great the way it turned up. It was almost in tune as you saw when I got it out of the box which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, very simple construction, very easy to use. That for me is a big bonus on playing live, having, not having 120 switches to turn. Um, so yeah, very happy with that. Um, on the con side, there's not too many. I mean, it's almost feels bad saying anything negative about this guitar, guitar because for the price, it's just simply excellent. Um, the stock strings, that, but I will mention the, the, the few little niggles, the stock strings are okay but they're not fantastic so I'm looking forward to changing them out so for some that I like. The fretboard, the fret, generally uh, the neck was pretty well finished but the fretboard itself I, I'll probably um, sand down a little bit with wire wool just to make string bending easier. The fret edges are a lot better than many guitars that I've come across nevertheless. It's become, it's a very easy fix to make a guitar playable by just rounding off the edges of the frets and also the sharp metal bits, the fret ends, just to make it easier to play. Um, watch videos on that, it's a really quick and simple way to make a guitar perfectly nice to play. Um, and that's the same for all cheap guitars, so uh, they always need that. Um, yeah, so, and the pot knobs, I mean, <laughs> It's nothing to really moan about, but the pot knobs came with a, they're black with a kind of brown um, volume and tone thing. I just didn't see why it, it came with those. They don't suit the guitar in any way. They don't bring any element of the guitar together. So I changed them for black and white pots, and I think personally it looks a little bit nicer and a bit more classic. I've got the ones I took off my Squire Mustang guitar on there. It costs nothing and it, and it looks good. So as you can see, the the cons are very, very slim for um, a guitar this cheap. For a beginner's guitar, it's great. Find someone who knows how to fix guitars, um, take it to them, uh, and they'll give it a quick setup, um, and it'll be good to go. Um, and <clears throat> you don't need anything else. You don't need anything else when you're beginning. Um, but it's also an interesting um, guitar for you know intermediate and advanced players because it does have a sound. It does have its own sound. The pickup placement where it is, it's a lot different to a Strat with single coils and as a result you get different sounds out of it uh, and I like having different tones for recording and different tones for gigging um, so yeah that was it, so generally overall impression very very good um, I definitely recommend it, expect to have to do a little bit to it um, but not much, so uh, there we go uh, coming up um, there'll be, I'll be putting some Texas Triple Hots in my Strat, which you can't see out of shot. Um, I'll be changing the tuners in my Spear and in putting some Wilkinson Hot Ceramic pickups in there to replace the underwhelming stocks uh, humbuckers that it's got. 
uh, in it um, I will be finishing off my Telecaster rewiring and reverse control plate mod um, and finishing off the two builds you can see just behind me here this one is a build from scratch and this one's a Harley Benton Jazzmaster kit which um, there's already a video uh, unboxing and tone test video on and I'm just finishing that off at the moment changing the pickups uh, changing the tuners and also putting new Warman Soapy Joe P90 soap bars in there to replace the ones that were in there which I didn't like very much um, so that's another bargain by the way if you're on the lookout for one alright that's enough from me catch you next time on Mindful Mods and have a great week